Welcome back to the channel. In the video today, I will run a full demo for the intercompany stock transfer process on SAP S4 HANA 2020. The demo will be done on SAP GOI. I will also create another demo for SAP Fury that will only be available to the channel members. I will leave you a link to the Fury demo at the end of this video. The demo will follow exactly the same example I used in the business process video. I will leave you a link to the video here and you have to watch it before you continue watching the demo. Also, if you want to have the same system configuration as what I have in this demo system, you can follow the steps in the configuration document that I created, which is available to the elite members. You can find it in the Google Drive directory. We start the process by creating the purchase order, transaction ME21N. And I will use the standard PO type NB. So this is a very standard PO type that we use even for external suppliers. So I'm not using any specific order type for intercompany. I am using the standard one. And then the supplier is business partner 1710. In my example today, I have two company codes. One of them is in US, the other is in France. The one in France is buying from US. The company code in France is AG01 and the company code in US is 1710. So now we are creating the purchase order in AG01 to buy the products from 1710. So the purchase organization is AG00, which is assigned to the company code AG01 in France. Purchase group is 001 and the company code is AG01. So this is the French company code. And then here we insert the material TG0011. And the quantity, let's say 100. And we have the price is 120 USD. So this supplier is in US. This is why we are using USD as the order currency. The plant is AG01. So this is the plant that we will receive the products in. This is the goods receipt plant. And the storage location for goods receipt also is 171B. Now, if we go to conditions, here you can see the price. So the price is 100 EUR, which is equal to 120 USD. And also we don't have any discounts or anything. Also because we are doing an intercompany process now. And SAP already knows this because this supplier is assigned to the company code 1710. So SAP understands that we are buying from an intercompany supplier. This is why automatically we have here a tab that's called shipping. This one will not appear unless you are doing an intercompany process. It will not appear for external purchasing. Now, if we go to shipping, here you can see the different details that are related to the sales side of the process because this is now an intercompany stock transfer. So here we can see the shipping point. So this is the, the shipping point for sales, which is, no, which is normally something we maintain in the sales order in US. But now since everything will be with reference to the purchase order, we have it here. And also we have the delivery date. So this is the goods issue delivery date. We have the sales organization that will sell the product 1710, the channel and the division. So these are the details of the sales order that should be created in US. But because in the intercompany process, this one, the purchasing order will act as also a sales order. We have all the details here. And these are all assigned in the configuration. Now, we also have the order combination. We have the customer. This is a very important one. The intercompany customer code, a business partner AG01. So this is also determined automatically. We have the loading group, transaction group, and so on. So these are all the details that SAP needs to be able to process the sales uh, steps on the US side on 1710. Now I'm going to save the order. And let's proceed to the next step. So now we are going to post the outbound delivery, the picking in US in company code 1710. The outbound delivery is transaction VL01N normally. But now since this time we are doing an outbound delivery with reference to a purchase order, we are going to use a different transaction. Let me show you where to find it. If we go to SAP menu, you can go to logistics, logistic execution, outbound process, Goods issue for outbound delivery, outbound delivery, create collective processing, and then you can find here purchase order items, VL10D. So we can use this one, we can also use the one for purchase orders, but today I will be using this one, purchase order items, VL10D. 
Here we insert the shipping point, which is 1710, as we saw in the shipping tab in the purchase order. And here we have the shipping dates. And then we can execute. You can also insert other details if you want. Now you see that SAP picked that we have an outbound delivery that should be created for this purchase order, which is the one that we just created for this item for 100 pieces. Now you click here and then click on create background. Now we have a green indicator, which means that SAP created the outbound delivery. You can click on this line and go to processing log, then select the line and click on documents. And here is our outbound delivery number. To display it, we can select the line and click on display document. And here is our outbound delivery. Now the second step is to uh, create the picking information. Now if you go to picking here, we have delivery quantity 100, but pick the quantity is zero. So the next step is to change this to have it as 100 also. Now I'm going to save this order number. And let's go back to change the outbound delivery. Change, single document. Insert the outbound delivery number, enter. Go to picking and insert the pick the quantity as 100. Then click on post goods issue. Now we can save the outbound delivery like this, or we can click on post goods issue and this will create the goods issue. So click here. Now let's display the financial entry. So outbound delivery, display, and then go to the history. Here is the goods issue document. So click on display document. And here we have FI documents. Double click on accounting document. And there is our financial entry posted in company code 1710. We have a credit to the inventory account and we have a debit to the cost of goods sold for 20,000 USD. This is the value of the cost of this item. We can also see it in MM03. So if you want to see the cost of this item, we can go to transaction MM03, TG0011. And then we can go to the accounting details. And the plant is 1710. So the cost of this item, so this item is using moving average and the cost is 200 per piece. So we have 200 multiplied by 100 pieces, which is 20,000. So if we go back to the financial entry, here we have 20,000 USD. So this is the inventory cost in company code 1710 or in plant 1710. Now let's go back and go to the following step, which is posting the goods receipt in company code AG01. So let's go to transaction MIGO slash N MIGO. Goods receipt, purchase order, and we insert the PO number, enter. And here we have our goods receipt. Okay, so this will be received in storage location 171B in plant AG01. Then post. Now to display the financial entry, go to display, enter, document information, FI documents, accounting. And here is our financial entry posted in company code AG01, which is the company code in France where we received the products. And the entry is a debit to the inventory account for 10,000 EUR and a credit to GRIR for 10,000 EUR. So this is the value of the purchase price that we maintained in the PO because in company code AG01, in this plant, AG01 also, we are using moving average costing for this item. So the debit to the inventory and the value of the GRIR will equal to the purchasing price we have in the purchase order. Now we move to the next step, which is posting the supplier invoice for intercompany. And for this, we go to transaction MIRO slash N MIRO. Insert the invoice date 1806, 2021. Posting date, the purchase order number, enter. So the total value is 12,000 USD. Again, I will be using 0% tax. I don't want to add taxes to our example for now. So we insert 12,000 here and post. To display the supplier invoice, we can go to invoice document display, then go to follow on documents, 
accounting and the financial entry is a debit to the GRIR account for 10,000 EUR and a credit to the supplier intercompany 1710 for 10,000 EUR or 12,000 USD. Now we have the last step which is posting the intercompany sales billing document in company code 1710 and for this we use transaction VF01 and we will post the billing document with reference to the outbound delivery so slash n vf01 and here we insert the outbound delivery number okay the billing type is intercompany billing iv and here we have our intercompany customer bpag01 this is the same one we saw maintained in the shipping tab in the purchase order and the total value is 12000 usd for 100 pieces now save the billing document and we can display from here accounting accounting documents and the financial entry is a debit to the intercompany customer intercompany accounts receivables for 12,000 USD and a credit to the revenue affiliates the sales revenue account for 12,000 USD this is it for the demo for today as you see I created the intercompany supplier invoice manually but similar to the other process for the intercompany sales to external customer that I demonstrated before we can actually set up SAP to automatically post the supplier invoice with reference to a purchase order once we create the intercompany billing document on the selling side. But this is something that I will show you in a separate demo. I hope you found this demo useful. If you are a channel member and you'd like to see this demo on SAP Fury, you can click on this link. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.